Hey, what's up guys? My name is Frank Malarsic and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use IEX Cloud to track your investments and uh, enhance your dividend tracking spreadsheet. So if you don't know what it is, IEX Cloud is basically a API which uh, allows you to get some financial data and use financial data. Um, so basically on their website, they brand themselves as the easiest way to use financial data. And so basically I'm gonna walk you through how to set up an account, how to get started, and how to do some simple uh, commands to get some basic uh, data that we might need in our spreadsheet. So I'm going to uh, put my email in here and I already have an account. So I'm, already, I'm just gonna use this uh, separate email I have sort of for my YouTube channel a little bit. So um, if I start, uh, you just gotta fill out some stuff. I'm gonna select an individual account fill out my name, make a password here, and I'll agree to the terms of service. And it's creating my account. And then there's these uh, different um, business plans. And basically, I'm just going to choose the free one. But uh, if you do want to do some more advanced stuff, you might have to choose one of the other plans. Um, but right now I'm just gonna be focusing on the free one and um, just know that you can do a lot more advanced things if you choose one of the paid plans, but um, I'm trying to make it free for you guys. So obviously I don't wanna pay for it and I'm sure you guys don't wanna pay for it either. But if you are really interested in this, I guess you could pay for it. Uh, so basically they sent an email verification. So I'll go to my Gmail and uh, get that verified. Okay, so as you guys can see now, uh, my account is verified. Basically, you just click on the email and then uh, it verifies your account for you. Um, so basically, this token here, this is like a unique number that identifies your account so that when you use their service, they know that it's you that's uh, pulling that data. Um, so basically, how I look to see uh, what data is available and what I wanna use is I just go up to the search symbols and if I type in like Microsoft, for example, um, and click on that, then you can see some popular uh, calls that people use, but we're gonna go down here. Um, and a lot of these things are like cash flow and balance sheet type stuff. Um, and that's really nice because you can get that sort of data, but unfortunately that's only um, for paid uh, users. So you can't get this. So if I try to get the accounts payable, just said the requested data is not available for free tier accounts. Um, so you can't do that, I guess. Um, so uh, we're just gonna go to the right here. And the three that I'm gonna add to my spreadsheet to show you guys for now is these dividend amounts, dividend X date and dividend pay date. So we click on it, the last dividend amount, it just shows it uh, right here, 56 cents. But this uh, URL is basically what we want to use uh, in our script. So we're basically gonna just do import data from that URL. Um, and as you can see here, the it lists the ticker symbol here. So that's good because we can easily replace that with uh, whatever ticker symbol we want. And then this is like the thing that, set, that tells it um, what uh, data point you want. So in this case, we got the last dividend amount. And then this right here is your token and so that's your unique identifier for you. So you have to include that as well. So I should show you guys how to do all that stuff. So what I'm gonna do basically, is I'm just gonna copy this and then I'm gonna go into my spreadsheet here and I already created a basic uh, setup. So this was for the next dividend. So I'm gonna say equals import data and then a quote, and then I'm gonna put that uh, URL in there. And the thing is that I'm going to want to change this so that the ticker symbol is based on uh, another sales value as opposed to the actual um, value that's already in there. So I'm gonna make it equal to B2 because that's gonna be the first ticker that we're gonna look at or where I'm gonna be putting my ticker symbols. So if I do that, uh, those little ampersands are concatenate. So it's basically concatenating this string with that cell and then concatenating all that with this other string. Um, and then I'm gonna want to put my token in a separate cell basically, so that I can just call that cell every time. So I'm gonna copy that one and put it in here in the token. 
And then there's still an error here because I haven't uh, fixed the token. So I'm going to go in here and make a reference using the ampersand to cell A2. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the dollar sign because um, basically that, what that does is that when I um, move down and just drag this down, then that'll keep it in the uh, A2. See this uh, B, it moved to B3 and then B4 and then B5 when I drag that down, but it keeps, it stays there on A2. Um, so, and right now I'm also going to hide this uh, row just so we don't see it or hide this column, sorry. And the reason these are all empty is because I just haven't entered a ticker heel here. So we do like Microsoft, uh, say J and J, AT and T. Oh, auto corrected. Um, what are some other ones? Maybe Exxon Mobil. Uh, Dave at Hidden Freedom Investing recently did a video on them. So hopefully he doesn't cut, or they don't cut. I mean, uh, he said that he doesn't really think they will, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and then maybe. What else can we do? We'll do like a newer one carrier. We'll see if they have uh, data for that. Um, so that's what we have there. And then I'm going to copy this formula, right? And then I'm going to paste it into this cell and I'm gonna keep it like that. And then if I go back here to this, I want the last dividend X date. So that uh, key word basically is last dividend X date. So I'm going to go in here into the URL and change it from last dividend amount to last dividend X date. And we'll see. And then right now it's a number. So you got to format it as a date. So if I do that, then it gives me the next X dividend date. So we'll do all that. And then we will also go here and copy that again. And then put that here. Oh, I don't know why that erased that, sorry. Put that here. Then we want to change this to last dividend payment date. So let's change that real quick as well. And then that's a number again. So I have to format it as a date. And then that's it. So maybe uh, maybe Carrier Global uh, declared a dividend because I wasn't aware that they had declared a dividend for the next month. Their last uh, dividend was in July. So that means they should have had a dividend in October, um, but it looks like they're paying in November now. So that's kind of weird, but um, that's the basic gist of how to do this. Also, I added a price in here. You can just probably easiest to just use Google Finance uh, for that get the price just uh, to make it like a sort of spreadsheet. Um, so that's basically how to use that IEX um, cloud. And uh, you can scroll through all these. And if you want to pay for them, uh, you can use uh, some of these other features that they have. But I personally don't use this in my spreadsheet at all. But it's just a, another tool that you could use. Um, and the main reason I don't use it is because they have um, for the free account, you only have 50,000 messages um, per month. And if you go back here to this uh, data options, um, you can see like the how many uh, messages this uh, column here with these numbers or how many messages each of these calls are so that all these ones I'm making are all 10 messages each. So if I have all of those in my spreadsheet. Uh, that's three for every stock. So if I have 20 stocks in there, that's 60. Um, and I think those get called like every time you load your spreadsheet. So if you're on there a lot, it could uh, really have an effect on your spreadsheet or have an effect on the number that you're using. Um, so I was, I'm not really on my spreadsheet a ton, but I was just didn't want to have to mess with uh, like worrying about how many messages I was using and stuff. And the methods I use now are just as easy uh, to use. So that's why I do that. But I thought it's an interesting um, concept and something that works for some people. So I wanted to share that with you guys. The quote of the video is, be yourself. Everyone else is already taken. And uh, I'm really not sure why I chose this one. I think I just like it. Um, and it just resonates with me. Um, it's by Oscar Wilde, in fact. Um, so I really think it's just important to uh, 
be yourself and do what you think is right and do what uh, makes you happy because at the end of the day, that's what really matters, I think. That's going to be a wrap on today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you uh, learned something from it. If you do have any, any questions about IEX Cloud or uh, maybe what you want to see in some future videos, uh, just drop it down in the comments and I'll try to help you out as best I can. So thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.